In this video you're gonna be watching how does lumbar puncture is done and how do we measure brain pressure. Lumbar puncture is a procedure in which a doctor inserts a thin needle into the lower part of the spine, especially the lumbar region. The needle is inserted into the space between two vertebrae to access the cerebrospinal fluid or CSF. It's clear fluid that surrounds the brain and spinal cord. This helps us to diagnose some different diseases like meningitis, encephalitis, check bleeding in the spinal cord and measuring the spinal fluid pressure. The patient should lie on his side or sit leaning forward to curve the spine. This makes easier access to the CSF. First of all, the practitioner wears a pair of sterile gloves. The lower back should be sterilized by using an antiseptic solution. Start cleaning at the injection site and move outward in concentric circles without returning to the previously cleaned area. This prevents recontamination of the clean site. Then we need to use an anesthetic medication to numb the area. This should be done by injecting the medication in different points of the site while the needle is going into the spinal space. A needle is carefully inserted between two lumbar vertebrae, typically between L3 and L4 or L4 and L5, to avoid damaging the spinal cord. This is somehow harder in obese patients, so you may have to try several times to access the right point. Like in this patient, it got us three times to find the right point. Once the needle is correctly placed, a sterile manometer or just a thin tube is attached to the needle. Here you can see the fluid is rising up in the thin tube because of the pressure gradient. If you don't have access to a manometer, we just use a tube and measure the height by using a ruler. This may not be completely accurate, but the error is not considerable. We measure the spinal fluid pressure in both positions while sitting upright and lying on the bed. The CSF column in the manometer rises until it reaches a point where the hydrostatic pressure in the manometer equals the intracranial pressure in the subarachnoid space. The manometer is open to the atmosphere at the top, but the pressure inside the subarachnoid space is higher than atmosphere pressure. This differential causes CSF to flow upward until the pressure is balanced.
Then we collect a small sample of fluid to analyze it to ruling out possible diseases. After all this, we want the patient to take a deep breath while we remove the needle. 